Let's begin our sales tax section by first talking about sales tax preferences. We need to set our sales tax preferences first. Let's come here under the edit pull down menu and let's come down to preferences. Here we're going to scroll and find sales taxes, company preferences. This first box here allows us to turn on and off sales taxes. Rock Castle Construction uses sales taxes, so we're going to leave yes checked. Over here, this is an important choice, especially for cash flow reasons. Most states allow you to pay your sales tax on a cash basis, even if your accounting records are kept on an accrual basis. Check with your CPA or your state to see if you're allowed to pay your sales taxes on a cash basis. This is what we recommend. In other words, you're not responsible for remitting sales taxes on to the state unless you've actually collected them. Under the accrual basis, you'll be responsible for remitting sales taxes on to the state once you bill for it, even if you haven't collected it. So you can see how this will help your cash flow and could hurt your cash flow if you're remitting sales taxes onto the state of amounts you haven't collected yet. Down here, tell QuickBooks when you pay your sales tax, monthly, quarterly, or annually. This section down here, you want to select the most common sales tax that you use. And if you want to mark taxable amounts with a T when printing. Default sales tax codes for taxable and non-taxable items are here. This is mainly if you're converting from older versions of QuickBooks. We're going to cover sales tax codes in the next video. That is setting your sales tax preferences.